Hello and uh, welcome to another sneak uh, preview of the XX737300. Today we are going to um, show you what uh, the climb will be like when you use LNAV and VNAV capability of the FMS. I've uh, set myself up here to be in uh, Hamburg, runway 05, and I pre-programmed the FMS with um, the AMLU 7 Charlie departure that goes to AMLU and then via Uniform Mike 852 to Ulsen and so on. And um, if we look at the legs page here, you see that the first the waypoint is the 500 or above. It's highlighted, which means this is the active waypoint. Then there's uh, Hotel Oscar Sierra NDB, Delta Hotel 151, Amlu, Bibnu, and so on. And um, here is the, the map view. You can see Hotel Oscar Sierra NDB, then Delta Hotel 151, the turn towards um, Amlu. And uh, you can also see here on the right side that uh, these are the predicted speeds. Um, they will change to uh, 285 once you pass over the speed restriction altitude, which is uh, set to 10,000 feet. And um, these are the calculated altitudes. Now, of course, it's possible that uh, departures have uh, restrictions in them and uh, they would show in big font, but of course it's also possible to enter your own restrictions. Let's say I uh, get the instruction that I should not fly any faster than uh, 220 knots until I get to uh, Delta Hotel 151. Now look at the uh, predicted altitudes. Right now it's just about 5,000 feet and if I put that in then it, it uh, gets a little bigger because obviously the plane will climb steeper and reach a higher altitude at Delta Hotel 151. So I can put that in and now this is a uh, large font meaning it's an uh, entered or database value small font means it's a calculated value let's say i want to um, also restrict myself to 4000 feet so i uh, say that at uh, amlu maybe or actually let's also take this one uh, we want to be at 4000 feet or below and um, now look again at the altitude here at Amlu, it's 17,208 and if I put that in, of course it's less because um, you have to wait until passing Delta Hotel 151 to do the climb and um, this gives us less uh, predicted altitude here at Amlu. And um, again we can execute that and of course you can delete these restrictions again if you don't want them anymore and um, we can also show you how that works when you do, do actually uh, fly this now. Uh, I'm just going to release the parking brake, add a little thrust and off we go. You know the drill already, 40%. Let them stabilize and then take off go around buttons. And this is not so much about flying technique, it's just about showing the FMS at work. While I do the takeoff run, really dangerous, I'm going to uh, switch the second CDU to the climb page so you see, or you'll be able to see in a second what goes on there. One and rotate. center line and will also engage VNAV now and you see automatically the speed cursor rise to 220 knots this is of course the speed that we have set up to fly until we get to the Delta Hotel 151 and if you look at the climb page here see the next active speed restriction is 220 by Delta Hotel 151 this is what the airplane is controlling to now and uh, later on we'll fly a target speed of 285 decimal 728 once we're above 10,000 feet and uh, here you can see that Hotel Oscar Sierra NDB is now the active waypoint and if you look at the map you can see that uh, 
we're climbing nicely. Of course, I'm uh, going to mess things up a little bit more. I'm going to put an altitude of uh, 8,000 feet here into the mode control panel altitude window. You see that up here? It's 8,000. So what the plane does now, you see it went to FMC speed VNAV path. It's leveling off at 4,000 feet. Why? Because uh, 8,000 is here. It's certainly not a reason to level off. Of course, if you look at the restriction, you see that we also put in, or remember that we put in 4,000 or below by Delta Hotel 151. So obviously the plane cannot climb past that while we're in VNAV. And it's heating this leveling off at the 220 knots specified and also at the 4,000 feet specified. I expect this to stay like that until we pass Delta Hotel 151. I just uh, go to a little bit uh, bigger scale here on the map view and you can see that thing will start the turn here. This dashed line is the extended center line of the runway. You see we're going into the turn now and what will happen once we uh, go a beam Delta Hotel 151. Let me scoot the view over. Of course I expect Amlu to get highlighted here. I expect the new next speed restriction to show up in the climb page and it does. You see what happened? Now the next speed restriction is 225 flaps. What is this? Well we still have the flaps at 1 and the placard limit for flaps 1 is 230 knots so the plane cannot go to the 250 knots it would like to go to. Instead it will target 225 knots. You can see that here the speed cursor and right here on the E80i. So I will uh, raise the flaps now and let's uh, see what happens then on the climb page. Flaps up. Immediately changes to the next speed restri restriction which would be 250 until 10,000 feet. And of course the plane starts to accelerate to get to this new airspeed. And um, remember we set 8,000 feet on the mode control panel there. So this is uh, the next thing, the next obstacle for the plane as we are trying to make our way to 200 or 25,000 feet. And we will see what happens as we come up on the 8,000 feet. Not unexpected. We will do a level off. This time the symbology is a little bit different. We're still in FMC speed, which um, is correct because we want to maintain the 250 knots here. It uh, could be another restriction, maybe up to a waypoint here, and we want the plane to then accelerate normally after it passes the waypoint. So we're still in FMC speed, but we're in altitude acquire, not in VNAV path like we were before, because this level off is not brought about by VNAV, it's brought about by the mode control panel altitude. Uh, remember, this is something the plane will never fly through one when the autopilot is controlling it, like a safeguard. So, of course, it will level off at 8,000 feet. And um, if we don't need to do that anymore, see, we went to altitude hold, then, of course, we're free to uh, dial this up, maybe to, uh, let's go to 20,000 feet or something like this. But the plane will not just start climbing again. You need to cue it to uh, say, okay, it's now okay to resume VNAV. It goes into VNAV and back into N1 climb power, VNAV speed, and the plane will start climbing again. Um, another thing that you could do is uh, you could ask ABC and say, hey, is it okay to fly a little faster than the 250 below 10,000 feet? They say that's fine. And um, you know what? I'm just going to go over here don't want to get around the thrust lever here and you just uh, take the lead and you clear this, say it's okay and of course the plane will now accelerate to the Econ climb speed even though we're still below the 10,000 feet, otherwise it would do so automatically once we pass 10,000 feet. Uh, of course it's uh, possible to change the climb regime, you can for example go to max rate and uh, see this is the mod page now and it's shows you what kind of speed it would be, 264, unless you press the button nothing happens, we're still at uh, accelerating to 280 something, and uh, see if I press the button now, and then of course the target speed is 264 and the plane will pitch up to fly this new target speed, you could go to max angle, of course you can go back, 
aircon and you can even override this put in your own speeds uh, if that's what you desire to do of course you will see that the uh, speed or the uh, waypoint altitude predictions update the top of climb updates all that stuff uh, should be working just like it does in the real airplane well i hope you enjoyed this short video we're still working very hard on this we're on the cruise part now we'll, we'll go to the descent very shortly and then hopefully stitch it all together and get this plane into your hands pretty soon